Hello everybody, it's your girl Connie Kenneth and welcome back to my channel. So if you're new to my YouTube channel, please make sure you subscribe if you love what you're seeing right now because this is the best reaction channel on YouTube and today I am going to react to Dennis the National's recent video. So Ugali Man eats 2 kilos Ugali and Virenji after work at his gym in Ungotarungai. So I, I've, I've heard about the Ugali man, I think he trended for some time, and this video, I guess it's one of the most interesting videos there is, so that's the reason why I have decided to react to it, because I feel there is a message in this video that most people need to know and learn about. So, let's get straight into this video, and make sure you subscribe, let's go. That is, that, that is the move the way, that cat is more famous than me by now, <laughs> everyone in Kenya knows the cat. Wow. Look, another one. Yeah. Wow, the plate. Wait a second. The plate is full. Then you have Ugali, you have chapati, then you have some meat stew. My goodness. How? How? Younger, my friend. And you see, this is huge. This is not a small thing. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hello, guys. Welcome to my channel. I am Dennis the National, and today I have a special guest with me. So I'm going to interview him. Up. Yes, nice to meet you, Dennis. I love your content. I love, you know, I just when I discovered your videos, you know, with all these beautiful uh, views of the different evolution in Nairobi, outside Nairobi, the you know the, the infrastructure, construction, and stuff like that. I really love it, and uh, it just brings me back home. And I really enjoy watching your videos. So nice to meet you. About his journey, uh, bodybuilding journey, and. How he, 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 he went viral and is now trending in Kenya. You know, everyone is talking about Ugaliman. Right. Everyone is making videos about Ugaliman and Ugaliman challenge. There's no one who doesn't know about Ugaliman right. right now in Kenya. So, guys, I'm going to interview him, talk about his journey, you know, how he started <laughs> and everything to the point where now he's trending in Kenya. And like you guys have seen, I always do inspiring, inspiration videos. Mm. Uh, I do two types of contents that is travel construction and showing the beauty the beautiful sides of kenya mm -hmm. and my other content is inspiration videos whereby you just want to inspire the youths of kenya and africa right. to tell them that it doesn't matter how long if you keep doing it and if you never give up one day it will work out you know absolutely absolutely i agree with you that's the reason why i decided to react to this video because of the inspirational side to it because in life do not wait for opportunities to come to you. Go to them. You know, go go fight, go, and keep keep growing. Keep going. You know, do not stop. If the door is closed, if the door is closed, sorry, you just have to create one, you know, and find your own way and stop following other people and doing as everyone is doing. Just be original. Be yourself, you know, be yourself. That is the story I want to talk to him about today. Right. Uh, then later, sooner or later, we will eat. As you can see, there are food here already. <laughs> so sooner or later, he will eat Ugali. You will see why they call him Ugali man. Right. Yeah. And also, this is his gym. Uh, we will talk about his journey as a bodybuilder and as a gym instructor. So, Charles. Yes, my name. Uh, you have been trending oh, okay, so Ugali man, his name is Charles. Nice to meet you, Charles. Around in Kenya, but for me, kuna kitu moja, like, ili niguza kwa sababu, wakati I was watching your YouTube videos, niliona one of your video, one of your videos on YouTube was posted eight years ago. So tell me, ulianza YouTube hivyo kitambo? Yes, 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 yes. I started posting on YouTube, that is way back, uh, actually, that is uh, 2013. Okay. 2012, 2013. Oh, between. so Ugali Man is a YouTuber as well. I didn't know that. So I will check out his YouTube. Well, this is when I started uh, doing videos on YouTube. Mm -hmm. And my main aim on doing the videos on YouTube actually was not even to maybe trend. I didn't know whether I will trend or what. Mm -hmm. But I also wanted, as you also been watching the video, you see, it features mostly on fitness. And so I wanted mm -hmm. air bodybuilding. So I wanted to create an awareness to the community and people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Something about keeping fit that is what nowadays we and you see what i love already about this video um in the in the other videos that we've seen with ugali man he's mainly just speaking in swahili and you can tell he's intelligent look at the level of his english how well how well spoken he is how 
how outspoken he is. I mean, I love it. I love it. So, Dennis, good job. I had no idea his English was this good and it's it's really uh, fantastic. Wow. Okay, I will check it. I will check out his YouTube as well. Want to because I understand mm. a healthy nation is a strong nation and health mm. is well though. This is what I wanted to share with people. And that is what motivated me to start also doing these videos, not mm. only to reach people around me, but people who are even million kilometers away from me. Right. I can tell you for sure you have reached so many people. Yes, 100%. And not, and I think the, the funny part is, is, and you've reached millions of people and not for, um, you know, doing sports. Well, it, it comes with it, but just by eating Ugali, you've touched millions of people who came to your website and, and now they, they can see your, you eat all that, but it's for your health and you're in good health and people are, I can imagine you've had contracts and people were coming to you, uh, you know, for sponsorships and stuff like that. So, uh, it's, uh, it's fantastic. That's, that's the magic of social media today when you went viral in Kenya mm -hmm. because everyone now talks about Ugali man you know mm -hmm. and you inspire so many people imagine guys he started YouTube he started posting videos on YouTube eight years ago if you mm -hmm. go to his YouTube channel you will see that the guy started posting the first videos eight years ago imagine where uh, some youtubers they start youtube and they think they are going to start getting paid two months later right you know they don't have patience they don't have like they don't have that urge to go mm. and do it and do it until yeah. it works and that's what i guess we call the microwave generation where people want things here and now you know it's and and that is not life it can happen to a few people where you can blow all of a sudden out of the blue you can just blow but not on youtube and and not in life in general so people have to keep um, moving forward baby steps the micro you know the micro goals before you get the macro one and i feel it's it's very important yeah to just take things slowly and a time will come it will be your moment so never give up it's out you know they just want like if they start it and it starts paying immediately and it doesn't work that way you know right you have to give you the even if it's business you know when you start it you have to be patient mm -hmm. you have to go through all the troubles that goes with starting a business right. before you can earn any profit eh? it's true it's true okay so tell me about your video how did you how did it trend mm -hmm. what happened uh actually i remember very very well that day yeah. it was a normal day to me did my workout yeah. woke up early morning did my workout and of course i had to eat yeah, yeah. yes and uh, cook the food, mama cooks the food, place it on the table for me. And um, just like I always want to share things with people, you know, I posted it just to show people, hey guys, me are meeting today, this and this. What guys have you eaten? Actually, that is what I had posted on my WhatsApp group mm -hmm. uh, and also on, uh, um, on, on my uh, Facebook account. Mm -hmm. But literally, did I know that that video will trend. Yeah. Wow. It was so funny to people. People just liked it. Mm. I saw it being posted in bigger uh, platforms. Yeah. And um, that is how it went. And I was Robert Alaya. exactly yeah, Robert Alaya. You, you even found yourself with Jalango. You know, it's crazy on on different um, media houses, and you know, you were the main thing. And you know, and I'm so happy that you you're, you're still utilizing the platform that you have now. To build, I can imagine young people um, out out there. You know, they can come to your gym and they can work out, and it's it's a social place where people can come together. So, good job. Posted it, and that is how it went viral, and I was called a, a, a week after that. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, guys just came and called me. You know, man, blah blah blah. You're trending and this and this, and we want you to do this with us. And that is how it went. So before, from the time you started posting these videos on YouTube or even on your social media, yes, to eight years later, how many? Like, you have done so many videos in between, yeah, mm -hmm. a hundred, more than a hundred. I can say more than two hundred videos. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Since I started, and no one noticed. No, no, no. no. Post, some of the videos, better, views. yeah, some of the videos you'll even find them. I've done them in that period of eight years, and I've never even gotten a single view. Yeah. No view, wow. just no view, but the video is there and has got like a six years, seven years and that, or two years now. Mm. Guys, can you imagine? This is what I always tell you guys, you never give up. 
because you never know when the time is going to be right, you know. Imagine the guy had been posting videos for all that eight years. That is the point I want you guys to take. Eight good years he was posting videos, he was putting videos online about bodybuilding and stuff. Mm -hmm. The thing he loved, his passion for eight good years. So he was posting videos about what he loves for eight mm -hmm. good years. Then, boom, his success came and his time came, you know. When your time is right, your time is right. right. So guys, you, uh, there's a previous video I've done about uh, building my mom a, a home in the village. Mm. Uh, I'll, I'll put the link to that video in the description below. Um, I just decided, like, I want to build my mom that house and I want to give her as a gift. Because mm. for her, she believed on my YouTube journey when mm. I started. Uh, yeah, and it's that's what I love about you, Dennis. You you're a very generous person. Yeah, you can I can tell that you're a genuine person that uh you you give back and you don't forget where you came from because so many people, especially today, I feel we tend to forget where we come from. Our parents raised us, our parents struggled raising us, they gave everything uh to us so we can become better people. And you know, and have a have a bright future, but we tend to forget them once we're adults and life happens, and it's not an excuse. So honestly, um, yeah, I watched that video as well. I watched it, and I was like, it's so, it's so nice to see that. And I'm sure, and those are blessings that you've also given to yourself because your your mom uh, will bless you even more, knowing that everything she did was not in vain. And also, there were times in life that. It was so low for me, you mm -hmm. know. Remember, there was a time I was a street kid in Kisumu for oh. for one week, yeah. and the only person who st who stick who stick with me during those hard times was my mom. Yeah. And when I started YouTube, she still believed in me. So for for that video, I'll put it in the link in the in the description below, so you can watch it. Otherwise, these are the kind of inspirational videos I want to show you guys. Right. So with Ugaliman here, <laughs> sorry for that. With Ugaliman here today we have food, so he is going to eat. So Mwane Venyana Finyango Ugali, Msiseme Oh, Nini Nini Nini. So we have food here, he is going to Kufinyanga. Yeah? Mm. So this is Ugali and Kumanga, Kudema. Okay, actually, yeah, I had prepared, uh, my, my wife had prepared me this um, boiled bone mm. soup. Yeah, because this is a boiled, nice, prepared with nyanya, mm. a little bit of chili. You see, Dania, right. oh, it smells so good. Yeah. Yes, exactly. In fact, I should also just put it on uh, the plate, eh? To be seen, eh? Yeah. yeah, this is it. So, yes, let me pour it on the plate. Wow. Oh, wow, 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 you see? <laughs> you have to eat. Are you going to eat all of that? Yeah, that's be healthy. Really. <laughs> yes. A eating nation is a strong nation. Then also, Ugali. Ugali was a little bit uh, kidogo, yeah. but I boosted it with uh, some chapati, chapati. jana ilibaki, okay. so that I reach my, uh, my capacity or the full dose of my my eating. Yeah. You see? Yeah. yeah. Oh, what are they? Must be. Oh, I should be washing my hands. Yes, yeah. Yeah. I'll do the honors. Good. Thank you. Just pour it. Okay. Just pour it. Just pour. Uh, I, I don't think I am. Okay. I am. Just pour. It's okay. okay. I am qualified to wash his hands because this guy is famous all over Kenya. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is now good. Uh, uh, this is awesome, 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 awesome. Yeah, awesome, awesome, awesome. Yeah, and that is something else in Kenya. We always, 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 always wash our hands before eating. Always, always. We didn't wait for Corona. Always. Wow. Oh, you prayed for the food. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Ready. yeah. Just the food is blessed already. And you see, uh, Dennis, eh? yeah. Ugali yeah. is the most important meal because yeah. it's carbohydrate. The primary. I hope somebody from any, I don't know, from Jogo or from any flower company actually sponsors him. You know, because. He is a very good, ad, you know, he's a very good person, you know, brand ambassador. He can be an excellent one. So energy to our body. Yeah. It's false okay. under carbohydrates. Yeah. Very important. Very uh -huh. important. Yeah. So this is step number one. Yeah. You just pinch it. Yeah. Shape it. Yeah. And now you bless it a little bit. Yeah. Just throw. Hey. <laughs> then make a hole, a ditch yeah. to scoop the soup. Yeah. Oh my god, guys, look at this man. The way he is eating, like, you feel like, you feel like, push, 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 and the cat is always there. <laughs> there is a cat in the area. 
Push, 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 Ah, the put the cat is here, guys. Yeah, post, 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 post. Wow. Post, post, post. No, you will go. The legendary post, post. cat. Post, 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 post. Bring it here. Just pick it up. Post, post. <laughs> Bring it up. Here. Not it, it, on the table. Mm. Oh. I think he must love his cat uh, because I remember the the video that trended. He did the same thing, you know. He called "puss puss puss" for the cat to come, you know. He got his potion. That is, that, that is the he moves away. That cat is more famous than me by now. <laughs> <laughs> right. Everyone in Kenya knows the cat. Right. Look, another one. Yeah. You know, when I younger, my friend. And you see, this is huge. This is not a small thing. Oh yes. Hallelujah. <laughs> Yes, mm. <laughs> so Ugali helps a lot with bodybuilding. It's an energy giving body, uh, mm -hmm. food. food. Yeah. Actually, it's what you really need a bigger portion of it. If you are doing bodybuilding, yeah. you're supposed to consume 65% of carbohydrates, yeah. wow. then you see 15% protein, yeah. and the rest now could come to vitamins and all that. But now you see. The bigger portion of that meal should have yeah it's healthier than just taking those art what do you call them the the, the 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 powders to help build your muscles it's much healthier i guess lots of calories 65 percent so that means ugali ni lazima so tell me about yes. your bodybuilding journey um it has not been so smooth yeah actually um Bodybuilding is the most expensive sport, considering, you know, it, uh, uh, it entails more of also. <laughs> oh, wow, my God, the way the camera is moving, it's a little bit, um, I, I, you know, I lose focus. I can lose focus very, very fast, you know, because the camera keeps moving. But, yeah, let's listen to the story. Well, I know this, uh, to maintain this uh, uh, habit of eating well, yeah. there must be no, uh, good money. I know during those days there was no money for mm -hmm. now trending and you see that eh? yeah. that was a bigger challenge now food and nutrition was a bigger challenge yeah mm. remember they know mm. uh in fitness yes 80 percent of your fitness is on nutrition how much you eat uh, the okay. food you eat, uh, portion you know at a good time mm. then you can imagine 20 percent is just exercise it's really so little oh, so okay. much more keenness on what you eat is there is a say they say you are what you eat. Right. You are what you eat. Mm. Yes, that's right. You're what you eat. Healthy eating is very, very, very important. Especially today with all the junk that we can find. I mean, it's very difficult to be disciplined. But I guess if you're in the bodybuilding or if you want to live a healthy life, then it's important to eat. You know, nice. So, more concentration goes on the food you eat. Exactly. Mm. If you eat burgers, you can you, you can produce a bigger muscle, so good muscles. We are eating burgers. Mm -hmm. It really needs good eating. So, but all balance bodybuilders, diet. all bodybuilders, diet. Meskia, if mm. you want to build muscle, please concentrate on the food you are eating. Mm -hmm. Make sure no kula vizuri, eh? Just eat eh. balanced diet. Eh. Mm -hmm. Follow the entire um, guidelines on nutrition. Yeah. And there you go. You'll be able to chunk, you know, chunk more muscles and better. Good eh. one. So even if you appear in a competition, yeah. good, you can get the good positions you want. Yeah. Mm. So yeah. you don't I, exercise more and no food no. Mm. I see these things like you have made them using tires. You see oh, this is those are, yeah, the weights. Yeah, they okay, you, you made them yourself. Very creative. And this is what I always tell people on my channel. You know, it doesn't matter what you have or what you don't have. Yeah. I still tell you people, I still use my phone to edit the videos. I don't have a laptop. But that doesn't stop me or it doesn't right. it doesn't become an impediment on my journey. If mm. I want to do this, I must do this. The guy uses uh, motorbike and bicycle tires to wow. make these these what do you call this? The, the weight yes. plated yeah. weight. The, the, mm. Now weights. they are rubber rubber coated weight. Yeah. Mm. So the guy uses motorbike tires, he does concrete in them and then you have the weight, you know. 
that is very creative kama angengoja sikenya atapata pesa nyingi anunue hizo za chuma za duka nini hajawahi kuwa na gym exactly i i agree with you 100% it's very important to start where you are and it's it's my case as well when i'm doing my reaction videos i just edit inside the youtube studio i don't have like i i remember i was like oh but how do i edit my videos um and I mean, I just decided just to do it. And when I realized that YouTube too, you have, you can actually edit in there. You don't do crazy stuff, but you can just, you know, just cut things that you don't want in the video. Then I was like, wow, this is exactly what uh, uh, I was looking for. And, and yeah, you just start and then you perfect as you go. Because if you wait to start a business um, because you don't have capital, then you will never start. You need to start. And then you're just giving a signal to the universe like, yeah, let's go. I'm ready to go. So, yeah, just go ahead and uh, start today now where you are. Don't wait to be to be richer, to have this diploma, to do this, to have this, to have that. Because you're wasting time. Just start whenever you are. And things will just start, you know, doors will start opening and things will start falling into place. So if you want to start something, use what you have and be creative, right. you know? Turn up if you want. Um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So if you want to start something, a business or anything, use what you have, be creative, eh? Right. Okay. Uh, now, if you want to start muscle, please concentrate on ugali, eh? <laughs> And protein. protein and vitamins as well. Yeah. Right. Vegetables, fruits, nin, mm -hmm. water also your body really needs it for right. digestion. Yeah. Is there any time you ever felt like you wanted to give up? Mm -hmm. So many times. Mm -hmm. Especially you see now balancing fitness with uh, uh, with the parenthood, eh? Yeah. It's a bit challenging. Yes. You have kids also need food on the table. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You too also you need also to concentrate with fitness. Mm -hmm. That will mean there is fitness, and again, you have to move out to go and you look for the money. Yeah, yeah, that will true. cater for these kids. Right. Yeah. So, it finds a bit challenging, especially when you, during those days, I was just employed, I was just a Kibarua guy. Yeah. Now, you see, um, you have some time to skip working out, to go work and get food for the mm -hmm. kids. And again, there is a competition ahead waiting for you, so that will mean if you skip some days without working out, yeah. the result might also come ogosh, not yeah. good. Yeah, right. So. Yeah, sometimes there is a challenging and mm -hmm. you give, sometimes you want to give up. Yeah. But anyway, I've got a discipline of when I want to give up, I always know that is when I want to maximize on myself. Yeah, when yeah, times yeah. comes rough, yeah. I don't just give up. Mm -hmm. I just try, whatever little, if I've been applying uh, like 60% uh, uh, of my effort, but yeah. now simply because problem has befallen me, yeah. it doesn't mean that I will totally stop. I'll just even try to apply 10% of the effort. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and just keep going. Exactly. So that you don't give up exactly. at all. Mm. Exactly. I agree with that 100%. I, oh my goodness, I can just sit here and listen to the Ugali man because you have, phew, you're, you're saying very, very factual things. And it's very important to know that it doesn't mean that you start something and it's going to be smooth. It will never be smooth. But don't let those things break you down. Just use them as stepping stones to where you want to be. And do not just keep going, even if you're just crawling. You know, babies crawl until they start walking and, and so on. So just never give up and keep going. And do not think that you will not have problems because you will have setbacks. You will have, you know, people who will disappoint you. But keep going. As long as you do, you keep going, then things will end up reaching where you're going. Because if you stop, then... Mm. But when you... Personally, I know when I have those down moments, I just remember my why. Why am I doing this? I have my destination i know where i'm going and then that motivates me even more and especially when you surround yourself with people who motivate you and push you to be better it it's a game changer it just changes so much yeah. and they always say when things get too hard mm -hmm. it's at that point that your success is right just behind the corner you know exactly 100 percent and also uh um the the most beautiful things are on the other side of fear so when you feel fear, just know you're on the right track as well. You know, all the beautiful things are on the other side of fear. And one last thing, it always seems impossible until it's done. When you do it and you look like, okay, that was easy. That was fine after all. So, yeah.
I've witnessed it, me, yeah. myself, yeah. yeah. Like they say, it gets darkest when it's almost... Puss, 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 come this side, there's another one, come up. Puss, puss, puss. Let me put you ugali kidogo with soup. Guys, the cat is as important as ugali mm. much. <laughs> let puss, puss, puss. Let puss, 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 puss. This side. Bone. <laughs> wow, so tell me, have you ever been in a bodybuilding competition? Many times, and I've never, I've never won anything. Why? Mm -hmm. Why? Mm. Preparation. Mm -hmm. It's also very important. Yeah. So you find yourself, um, you are not fully prepared due to financial constraint. Right. Yeah, yeah, I understand. That. Yeah. So that will also affect your, 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 how you gain the muscle and build them. Mm. So when you go to the com um, competition, the judges will only be able to see those who fully prepare themselves. Their muscles yeah. will always emerge be better to them. Yeah, yeah. To you, it will always tell. Yeah. Right. If you are not fully prepared, the muscles will not be in, mm. in, in a proportion that is, was needed or in a picture that was needed to be. And that's how these judges criteria they use. You find yourself some are better than you, right. but mostly a challenge to anybody builder normally is, is meal, mm -hmm. food. It's a bigger challenge. I actually, money to buy the food, all that. Mm -hmm. You see, you have to miss some of the uh, days for workout. Go to work so that you you make money. And when you miss a session of a workout, it really affects you in a bigger way. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. you are losing. Yeah. yeah, you are losing. Mm -hmm. For example, if you are supposed to do a six-week program, yeah. then three weeks you're out. Yeah. Three weeks you did yeah. it. You can never be equal to somebody who has gone entire six weeks program. Right. That is true. Yeah, correct. So guys, I actually understand what he's trying to say. You know, because sometimes your yeah, financial challenges are always there. Uh, mm -hmm. And someone like me, like I told you, I was a street kid for one week in Kisumu. I understand when you don't have money and you have nothing to eat. Right. You know? uh, or you just want to do something and. You are not financially, you know, you don't have the financial capacity to do it. Right. Sometimes it can suck, you know. Mm -hmm. But after all, we keep going. And look, he's a, he, he is not trending the whole of Kenya. In mm -hmm. the whole of Kenya, everyone knows Ugaliman, you know. Mm -hmm. He lost all those build, build, bodybuilding challenges because he didn't have enough money or he wasn't financially stable. But still, he's famous in the whole country right now. He's right, and it didn't stop him from going forward and it didn't stop him from you know, his goal from from his objective. And I feel that's very important. And it's a good example, you know, to your kids um, because they can say, oh, dad has, you know, has keeps pushing and pushing and pushing and his day has come because now I'm sure that, you know, he will have a lot of contracts and people coming for him because they want, um, he can be an excellent, an excellent brand ambassador. Trending, you know. And right now he's in a better position than he was before. Right. So it's a good thing to never give up, you know. Keep doing what you love. And the guy was creative because as far as he was doing bodybuilding, he still tried to find a way to post the videos online, you know. Mm -hmm. So that I can say he was very creative because some people just do bodybuilding and that's it. They don't want to do anything out of, outside. The, as in they don't want to do anything outside of what they are doing. Exactly. They limit themselves to this box. Yeah. Diversifying is very important. They just want to exist there. The same way with many, many youths in Kenya. Mm -hmm. Someone gets employed, they get post, stuck post, there. Post, you know? post, 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 They get stuck there. They don't want to like even invest or save or do something creative with their part time. With the, with the other time, they are not, a, they are not working. So mm -hmm. it keeps you limited. So always think outside the box. Always be creative, you know. Right. Yeah. So guys, please like this video, like, 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 share, you know, let's yeah. get the most views this country has never seen before. <laughs> so share anyway, you know. Uh, guys, this has been a nice interview. This is Ugaliman, the legend himself. Right. And today, <laughs> if you are with Ugaliman, it's a white I'm protected. YouTube. <laughs> Right. So comment any question you have about him. Uh, for now we are friends, so I'll be meeting him once in a while. I can ask him later. We can do more things. Right. So any question, anything you have, comment in the comments below. Like if you are new. Subscribe. This channel is about empowering the youth and also about 
changing the African narrative, you know, changing the face of Kenya to the world, how the world sees Kenya. And I'm just a ghetto boy, you know. I come from Rongai, he comes from Rongai, by the way. Yeah, right. Season okay. represent Rongai. Yeah. 125. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's another girl. Yeah, I used to live in Rongai too at some point. So, who has been trading from Ongata Rongai? She's mm. called Morgan Tasha. Yeah, I would like to meet her one day, maybe do an interview. I like her skits on, on TikTok, and she has been trending lately. So, Morgan Tasha, if you're watching this, big up, good work, you know. Uh, season of represent Rongai, and we want to take Rongai to the world. True. Yeah. How are you called? Hey, if I want to be like you, muscle some stuff, how long do I have to train? One, one thing I would advise you, eh? yeah. consistency, consistency is the point number one. Mm. You cannot build a muscle by training today, tomorrow you skip. I come the other day, the other day you skip. Right. No. In a week, if you can avail yourself, Five days or six days in a week. That yeah. would be nice. Then now, result expects to see results after um, six to twelve weeks. Mm-hmm. Six to twelve. Yeah. And Consistency. Uh, accompanied with good nutrition. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. So lesson learned. Consistency. You need to have good. You have to eat correctly. Okay. So those are the number two. Did I forget something? But those are the most important one. Consistency. And also uh, eating healthy. Yeah, to go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and like, 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 six to twelve weeks. Yes. six to Oh, you eat a lot of pepper. Mm, I like you so much. Mm. Mm. So guys, I would like wow. to show you around his gym, Kidogo. You know. So guys, this is wow. his gym, you know, this is where it all started. Mm. And this is amazing, guys, what people can right. do with, the, with, being, with being creative, you know. This is amazing, man. Mm-hmm. He makes all these things himself, so he doesn't have to buy. Wow. Huh? Now, where, where and you what's are? your excuse? What is my excuse? What is excuse that, you know, oh, I need like a big place to... To start a gym, I need a lot of money. No, you can make those things yourself, and that's the lesson I guess we should get from this video. You are there, you want to start a business, you are like, I don't have capital, right. I don't have anything to start with. Right. Yeah. cut ni bodybuilding cut. Right. Look at this man. Mm, okay. No, I clearly power equal. This are as a result of doing good exercise. Maybe in discipline, and I could pull out Gali Missouri. So, guys, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for always tuning in on my channel. Oh, cameraman, I love you. Thank you for always tuning in on my channel. Thank you for always supporting me. Like I said, there are my previous videos I've done that can inspire you even more than this. I've done, I do all construction videos in Nairobi, roads, development in Kenya. Yeah. I've even done cities like Kisumu, Mombasa, Nairobi, a little bit of Nakuru, and mm-hmm. Eldoret too. You can watch. Actually, I was born and raised in Eldoret. Okay. So, but right now, Rongai in the home, eh? We are representing Rongai. So, guys. I want to introduce my cameraman because he's doing a good job and he's also a YouTuber. So yeah. you can introduce yourself, guys. Hello, guys. My name is mm. Azushwal, mm. Valentin KE, mm. at YouTube. Mm. So, we are to number 45. <laughs> <laughs> Just have a look. We are to number 45. Just look, look at this height. Mm. Huh? I'm like six feet tall. Yeah. So you, you, you just know the kind of tall people like mm. they do wear big shoes, you know, this American height. So, yeah. shoes is number 45. Yeah. Favorite dish, yeah. chapati. Yeah. And, uh, 
mbota <laughs> yeah the second dish is ugali and samaki yeah. because i'm from the lake region yeah I'm, that's a fish samaki is fish my true luo so <laughs> don't I, say i i was saying yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah the ugali is thing for luos mm. yeah I'll put his YouTube channel on the yeah. description oh, below. Fantastic. So like I was saying, I've done even Nairobi Expressway roads. You can watch those on my channel. And also Support me, guys, you know. I'll be also coming to do some workout. Hey, hey, exercise. Ukwe mm-hmm. power, mm-hmm. ikwe, ikwe. Let me try this. Ndo ati wai tishu wa. Let me try this. Ooh. Mm. Power. Power. <laughs> <laughs> So guys, like I said, I'm trying to finish that house for my mom as a gift. So you, okay, you can go watch that video. It will, it will help me a lot. You can support me in any way you can. Because I love my mom so much. She was with me in my darkest periods of my life. And forever I'll be grateful for her. And she's the one who has inspired me to do YouTube. And I will never give up as far mm-hmm. as she's still alive. I'll, I'll, I'll always try to do everything I can for her. Mm. Otherwise, thank you guys. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for liking. Thank you for subscribing, commenting. And for those who started with me when I had zero subscribers to this period, big up, man. Nice. My Kenyans from diaspora, big up, guys. <laughs> thank you, guys, and see you later, guys. Yes. Oh, my goodness. You are. You have a big heart, Dennis. Ah. Oh. You're, you're a nice person. You, I think if you had time, you would like talk a lot about, you know, people that you've, you know, you're grateful. And it's very important to remember where we come from, be it from, you know, from your background, you know, from how you grew up and, and people who are supporting you today and who will continue supporting you because you're a nice person. So if you like uh, this reaction video and if you didn't know Dennis, kindly find the link to the full video in the description down below and also make sure you subscribe to my family uh, if you're from Dennis the National. So thank you so much guys for watching and until next time, bye.